This is Apple TV 4K. It lets you watch movies over the internet in 4K HDR. But if you have a TV that can play 4K HDR movies, the chances are you already have an Android TV that can already play these things. But that kind of thinking will not help with the sales of Apple TV. This thing has a 10x Fusion chip in it. The same chip you find in iPad Pro. The iPad Pro that allows us to do fantastic things like these. So yes, by itself your TV can be smart. But when you add the Apple TV 4K, your TV will become a genius. Let me show you. 2 plus 2. Apple TV 4K comes in two versions, 32GB which is $179 and 64GB which is $199. On the new white box, they added the names of the services you get with this thing, in case you didn't know what Apple TV does. And it comes with the remote that has a ring on it, in case you didn't know which one is the left top button. Then of course the Apple TV 4K itself, blindfolded, some instructions, some stickers, lightning cable to charge the remote, power cable to power up the device, and underneath this part, the new HDMI 2.0 cable. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool, said Apple. That is extra. <laughs> <laughs> Setting up Apple TV is easy. You plug it in, pair your remote, and if you like to transfer your settings, you bring your iDevice close to the Apple TV, and it takes care of the rest. Even all of my apps got downloaded to the new Apple TV. For HDR, make sure you plug your Apple TV to the proper port on your TV and make sure you have the proper HDMI cable. Good. After a couple of minutes, you're ready to watch crystal clear HDR10 content on your TV. When we zoom in and film the screen like a pirated movie, the difference can be seen in the eyes of this gentleman. And of course, the UI looks cleaner as you'd expect. When it comes to launching apps, there's almost no difference. But when it comes to gaming, I felt like Apple TV 4K had better frame rate. But since I did better time with the older Apple TV 4, that means it is the better one. We're talking simple science here. There's of course no difference between Apple TV 4 and Apple TV 4K Siri. It still can do the same tricks. What did he say? Rewinds a little bit. Turn the subtitles off. What's the weather like? Netflix and chill. HBO and chill. This brilliant keyboard is still here. Turn the lights off. Set the lights to maximum effort. Nice, but YouTube app still plays ads to YouTube Red members like myself. And it plays 4K content in HD. I hope these will be fixed with an update soon. Apple TV 4K has a 10x Fusion chip with 64-bit architecture. Apple TV 4 has a 8 chip with 64-bit architecture. Apple TV 4K has gigabit ethernet. Apple TV 4 has 1000 base T ethernet. They both have 802.11 AC Wi-Fi connection. Apple TV 4K has Bluetooth 5.0. Apple TV 4 has Bluetooth 4.0. Apple TV 4K has HDMI 2.0a, which can handle 4K 60Hz, HDR 10 and 12-bit color. Apple TV 4 has HDMI 1.4, which can handle 4K 30Hz, but this doesn't have a 4K output, it has 1080p output. Apple TV 4K doesn't have USB-C output, unlike Apple TV 4 here, it has a USB-C output. You can connect it and then reinstall tvOS if you like. You can capture screen, but with High Sierra, you can capture screen using QuickTime over AirPlay. 
and if you want to download beta software there's a selection in the menu you can go ahead and select that and start downloading crappy beta software to your device the remotes are the same they both have dual microphone accelerometer 3-axis gyroscope bluetooth 4.0 infrared for tv's volume control and lightning connection so you can charge the remotes when it comes to audio output they both have dolby digital audio 7.1 also as you can imagine with great power comes great heat compared to apple tv 4 that's why apple tv 4k has this grill underneath i think apple tv 4k is a great update it is something you'll definitely enjoy if you have a 4k tv that supports hdr everything seems to be working fine and the fact that my movie library is updated to 4k for free is great news i give it a dog score of 8.5 well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about Apple TV 4K in the comment section below. Do you think the new features are good? Do you like the HDR10? And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and ho chocolate. Two plus two. The answer is four.